In our remaining time, I will ask you this, Cam. I am guessing that the Hurricanes have gone through probably two scrimmages at this point. What are we hearing? The good, the bad, the ugly? Yeah, man. Uh, Cam Ward, that guy. Like, I, I don't know what that person on Twitter was talking about, about being upset <clears throat> that he's here. Like, yeah, no, he's here and you're going to know it. Um, you know, and the main thing for me is no injuries. Uh, it seems that the player development is going in a proper direction, uh, trying some different combinations in some places, you know, and, and things like that, it's like offensive line and defensive line, you know, especially secondary. Um, but yeah, the, the main takeaways, um, Elijah Lofton, first of all, hello. Like he doesn't want a red shirt at all. Like he keeps making plays. And when you do that, you're going to find your way on the field. Um, you know, Jacoby George trying to take a big step forward. Uh, was it the Saints looking like he could be making a star turn uh, this upcoming year? Um, but yeah, it really starts and ends with Cam Ward um, and the offense. Just it, it's it's what Miami needs. And any word on how big Trip is doing? I have not heard specifically. That's Antonio Trip, who's an interior offensive lineman. Uh, I have not heard specifically uh, on that. Um, but good question, Ray. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, uh, the, the health thing is the biggest thing for me at this point, especially when, you know, as evidenced by Nigel Lee Kelly and, uh, putting his intent to go into the portal. And again, he could change his mind. I don't necessarily know he's going to, but he could. Um, but looking forward to the season, it looks a lot different if there are injuries to key players in camp that keep them out for part or all of the season. You know what I mean? Like the Mawinoa brothers both had minor uh, procedures at the start of camp. So they like, you know, were held out that first week or first couple days and then they worked their way back in. Got it. Um, but next season looks very different if no one named Mawinoa is healthy enough to play. You know what I mean? So things like that, but we're going to see a lot about this on this week, Saturday. That's when the spring game is. I believe it's four o'clock. I believe it's on ESPN um, plus or whatever they're watch ESPN um, and everything. Um, yeah, we, we will see the shell of some things. Uh, I've heard some whispers, but I really want to see, and this is not going to happen until fall. But I really want to see how Shannon Dawson in his second year, how the install grows, how the offense develops further. Because I said it multiple times last year, you know, in wins and losses, it just looked like there was another play, like in the progression. Like you come out in the same formation, you come out showing the same initial look, but where's the second or third variant or option off of that play? You know, um, it just seemed like that was where those would have fit, but it was like, we're year one, so I don't have that second and third look off of that say, off that first look. We don't have those installed and rep to the point of playing them on the field or putting them on the field during a game that matters. I really want to see where that goes developmentally for next year. Um, and Lance Gidry just continuing to do good things uh, with the defense. we got a big uh, job ahead, especially with the, the turnover of the full secondary, basically. Um, but I think that he has a great mind for what he does. Obviously, you know, calling those timeouts at the end of Clemson game, every time that he did, what – dialed up the exact right thing, dialed up the exact right thing. And then we went, won that game. So hopefully he'll, he'll have that. So those are things that I'm looking for also, uh, but we'll see. And uh, Falcon or TRX cam just wants cam Ward to make Miami great again. I mean, it doesn't have to be cam Ward. I mean, again, I'm a fan already because of the name, but like, I would have been fine if it was Tyler Van Dyke. I would have been perfectly fine. If it was Derek King, Brad Kaya, whomever else, 
I just want to win. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I am, you know, looking forward to it being Cam Ward. Why? Because it's the one season he's going to be here. He's the current starting quarterback at the University of Miami. But in 25, it will be insert quarterback one. In 26, it'll be insert quarterback one. In 26, that's just how we roll. So, I mean, I know that you know that from being here. Uh, but, yeah, I am. Uh, I would like Miami to uh, be a factor towards the top of college football um, this year. Cam Next just game 94. Sorry, I was just rolling. Nasa K94 with another super chat, and do appreciate you, Cam. Does all the shoulder issues concern you? We have way too many players wearing shoulder braces. It's something to look at, but also it's just like a high use joint. And if you're, especially if you're tackling in a certain technique, you know what I mean? Like you're using your shoulder a lot, like, and you're not using your head because hmm, targeting. So, yeah, there is a little bit of that. Um, But it's also just kind of, I would be interested just like to see if this is a concern or a question for other teams. Cause like, I don't know to that level of detail, like SMU or Utah state, or, you know, even a Texas or a Georgia, you know, like how many players wear braces or whatnot, you know, especially shoulders. So uh, something to watch if it like keeps everybody out or something, you know, if it, if uh, there's one kind of injury that keeps happening, right, that is like season ending or, or something like that, like every like because there's very there's different types of shoulder things, right? But if everybody's like, oh, I have a tear of the labrum in this exact place and like da 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 for every single player on the exact same thing, then that's something. I mean, hey. Maybe there's some guys who have lingering issues from high school. Maybe there's some guys who just like when they were growing their, uh, you know, uh, the the growth plates or whatever. They're like, there's a lot of different things that can go into it. Uh, so it's something maybe worth noting. It's not to a level of concern for me yet. But now that you mention it, it's something that I actually am going to write down and try to either run down in terms of talking to somebody or like narratively look at and try to circle it that way. It's some. I'm not concerned, but I uh, honestly, this is a really good question and something that like is a thing that I've seen but haven't really focused on. And I appreciate you asking that because like I love it when people challenge me to think in a different way. And you've just done that with your your question, Knox K94. So I appreciate that. Awesome stuff. And this uh, coming from a guy that thinks in so many ways in so many directions. So that is um takes some doing Knox Kane. There you go. Appreciate you finishing us off in a good place.